Hey guys, my name is Magan and welcome to the Long Gone Days demo. Uh, once again, <laughs> found this game on GameJot. Uh, that appears to be my favourite place in the world at this point. Um, because all the games are free. But this looked really interesting. Um, the art style looked awesome. Like it had sort of like... Like a visual novel kind of like anime character overlays and stuff like that. But it's also got that pixel um, look about the actual game. So it could be really interesting. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into things. I don't know what the story or anything is about. Uh, the story is a work of fiction. All characters in this game are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual events or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. It's meant to be set in present day, though. That's all I know. So let's go. Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? From the day I was born, it was decided that I'd be a sniper. As soon as I could talk and understand orders, my training started. It was the same for every single one of my brothers. Also, I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the Corps' army were things that everyone knew about. But who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you've been spoon-fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you. You just assume it's normal. But what use are those things? I was taught during the past 22 years, if I was ever taken away from the battlefield. If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of those things. Day 1. Service Academy, inside the core. So, I don't even know what the controls are here. Oh, let's carry that on, sorry about that. Looks so cool. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Full disclaimer, I'm not gonna do voices because I'm rubbish at them. Um, maybe I'll practice in uh, some spare time <laughs> and if I get better, I'll start doing them. But for now, I'm just gonna read things as they, as they are. The first thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian territories, even though it's separate from the mainland. Normally I teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation, any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not even tell them the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? So the guy you play as is called Rork, and I'm, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, tomorrow I'll be sent on deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go, but the previous sniper broke his arm, and I was transferred to this squad as a last minute replacement. You should also note that it's currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Those of you who already have been deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summers in Kaliningrad range from 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 75, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, but it still rains just as often as in any other season. As you will be representing the Polish army, a zero tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? I wish I had more time to prepare. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a good job like this. Private Rourke? Yes, sir. Oh, there I am. Hansen. <laughs> you can find the briefing with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, just ask someone in your squad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's all from me. We are counting on you, soldiers. You are dismissed. So information about the core and Operation Pregolia, Pregolia have been added to Rourke's notes. You can access the notes tab from the menu. Okay. Wow, look how cool this looks. Do I move the mouse or do I... What do I do? Do I just click on things? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I use the arrow keys to move. Okay, so... Go play training grounds. So that's the training grounds. I want to go talk to people. So, did you know you can update your info from this screen? All right. Oh, I can save my progress. There you go. This is really cool. I'm very much liking this so far. Man, good luck replacing Coil. That guy could shoot a pin from miles away. I'm a fairly competent sniper too. 
I'm assuming I've got to go to the training grounds, but um, as this is kind of an RPG, I want to start talking to everyone first. I don't want to miss anything. I could swear I saw one of those tomatoes moving. Let's not talk to this guy, eh? <laughs> Do you think someone will notice if I don't shower? I think a lot of people would notice. So what's down here? Uh, showers. I should train a bit first. Oh, so I have to go and train first. So I'm assuming that will teach me the mechanics of the game kind of thing. Door plate barracks. Yeah, it's going to tell me the same thing, thing for every door, I, I, I guess. So I can, that's where I save, and this is the training grounds. Uh, I've I've explored basically everything that I can see there, so let's go forward. Let's start basic training. Sort of. Hey, Rock. Uh, hi. I noticed you're about to train with the basic targets. Why don't you activate the advanced ones? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. I don't know how to do anything. Really? Just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. It's pretty straightforward. Since you're this forgetful, remember they won't attack you. <laughs> yeah, I would have figured that. It would be ridiculous to have something like that. Yeah. By the way, you should try these bullets. Incendiary bullets time suit have been added to the inventory. Um, how do I access inventory? Okay, thanks. Let's try the bullets I gave you, shall we? Use any kind of special bullet, access the skills menu. The icon next to each skill represents the cost. The first number is how many items you need, and the second represents how many you own. Okay. Um, okay, what items do I have? Nothing. Skills. Oh, there. Fire explosive ammo. And if it burn on enemy. Oh, and I can even, like, choose where to hit them. This is cool. It reminds me a little bit of um, like Fallout. What? Uh, low HP, high evasion. Um, I'm going straight for the head, man. Let's do it. Miss. Yay. The center of mass is the easiest part to hit. You rarely miss if you aim for the body. Yeah, well, I figured that. Yeah. Most enemies have multiple spots you can aim at, and every spot has a different stat. These stats can be seen during target selection. Certain spots like the head or the body will instantly end the fight. The HP reaches is zero. Uh, while aiming at other spots can give you an advantage in battle, like lowering the enemy's evasion. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so let's go for the body then. Yeah, 64, okay. So I only have one of those left. I think I'll save that. Let's go for the... Low evasion. Right, let's go for the head again. Yes. All right, I'll stick to your body for now. Enemy B has been defeated. Great. So let's try. It. Let's try and hit the leg. Let's see what that does. Enemy soldier's left evasion has been lowered. High evasion, low evasion. Let's try it. Let's try an arm. Enemy soldier's left has been disarmed. That's the only thing. It doesn't say left or right. Oh, it means I've only got two options to hit now. So let's go for the head. There you go. Aren't those bullets great? I don't really need them, so you can have these two. Oh, I've got some more bullets. Anyway, I've got to go now. I'll be giving you instructions remotely tomorrow. Okay. Oh, so she's my spotter. Uh, Brana. I uh, wish you could have said so from the beginning. Maybe it'd be a good idea to take a shower and sleep soon. Information about the aim system has been added to Rourke's notes. How do I access my notes? Tab? Uh, maybe escape? Yes, escape. Uh, that's just options. Okay, notes. The core. Ah, uh, here we go. So we get a bit of story now. Uh, the core is an extensive state strategically located below the surface of the Earth. Okay. It is currently governed by Lieutenant Eugene Weiser under stratocratic system. The core is 
proud to be able to offer its citizens an environment utterly exempt from poverty and unemployment, and more importantly, absolute safety from the threats of the surface while raising generations of experts capable of keeping the core as the only true self-sufficient state. Well, that was a big sentence. So it's, it's basically like an underground bunker by the sounds of things. Um, okay, Operation Pregolia. Uh, the goal of this operation is to offer supporting aid to the Polish forces in uh, Kalin... Kaliningrad? Yeah, Kalinin... Kaliningrad. That's how I'm saying it. <laughs> uh, for this operation, you'll be using the following items. Complete Polish army combat uniform and a new set of weapons in accordance to Poland's requirements. Third and the fourth squad will be in charge of taking over the first two bases. A new briefing will be handed once the... Yeah, a new briefing will be handed once the first part of the mission is complete. Okay. Uh, that's about the aim system, which just did locked entry. Haven't got to that bit yet. Okay. I'd like to... Joel, you know, um, the only gripe I have at the moment is that I'd like to be able to use the WASD keys to move instead of the, um, the arrow keys. Uh, save. So I need to shower and sleep. I don't think there's anything to the right here. I just want to double check, but I can't go off screen enough. No, a pipe on the floor is blocking my way. Apparently I can't step over it. And I want to just talk to this weird guy for a second as well. This is the greenhouse. Most of our food grows there. I'm not talking to this guy. But I want to talk to him. He sounds weird and interesting. He thought the tomatoes were moving. Uh, this is the showers. Take a shower. Is there going to be nudie scenes? Mm. Do you think I might miss these hot showers? I must be going crazy. Locker room! <laughs> hmm. That's, why, that's my squad's medic. Which one? I'm guessing the guy with the glasses on. The one that looks kind of nerdy. Uh, he should be able to give me some more information about the operation. Uh, I believe his name was... Adia? Maybe I should just call him medic or something. <laughs> Ad, Ad, Adder. Adder? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you, Rory. I'm gonna just call him medic. <laughs> but I'm gonna call you by your proper name when I'm uh, talking to you in the game. Have we met? Not really. I was just transferred yesterday to the full squad. So I was wondering. Oh, so you're Coil's replacement. You haven't been deployed before, have you? No, it's gonna be my first time tomorrow. But I'm... you seem way too calm. Well, I have been waiting for this day for years. I've never ever seen the sun before. Wow, so they've like lived under here for their entire lives. Try not to stare at it too much unless you want to go blind. Huh? You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. The surface is an awful place. Um, would you lighten up a little? This is not the time to relax. Wow, what an obnoxious little brick. Well, I should kind of listen to him because, you know. Can I go back in there? Because I've never been to the surface apparently, so why why would I start being rude to people who know more about it? That just seems silly. Ah, uh, yeah, go to sleep. Day two. Intercontinental. Platform inside the core. More than 15 hours have passed already. For the first time, for the first time, I'm sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time and it makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. The guys look wiped out to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. I'm already in a cranky mood, and to make things worse, I'm sitting right next to this guy. <laughs> hey. You should try to get some sleep. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Screw this guy. Didn't you say this wasn't the time to relax? Pfft. <laughs> What? He's still mad about that thing I told you yesterday. You know, right now is not the time to- No, no, it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. 
Will this guy stop cutting me off? Let me get a word in, man. Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass. As if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off. But let me save you the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being a friend doesn't mean that I take care of you first. So tell me, weren't you trying to say something yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in this squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be our medic. Is that so? Well, well, I'm glad you're not cynical like the others. Man, I've got news for you. Um, if you're still waiting to, willing to listen to me, there are a couple of things I wanted to tell you about the surface. Since you were transferred so suddenly. I'm guessing you haven't been properly introduced. I just got the briefing today, so take a guess. Really? We seem so curious about the sun that I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I really don't know if the sun could leave you blind. But what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol on an open wound. You can't even, it can even toast your skin. It's quite fascinating. Why is this guy still talking? It's been like five minutes already. So yeah, based on that, I wouldn't even try to look at it too much. Sounds to me the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. What was that? Did we finally arrive, or...? Uh, even the lights went out. We have arrived. Everyone get ready. We are opening the hatch. As soon as the doors that separated us from the outside world opened, a strong musty odour filled my lungs. My uniform got all damp, and it got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. The surface is gross. It's a little bit wet, it doesn't look that bad to me. Ravens are used as saving points, interact with them to save your progress. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to leave that one in. <laughs> um, can I run? Uh, save your progress, yes. Uh, no, continue with that save. I, I want to, how do I run? Control, shift, oh, space. maybe I'm not meant to run yet. It's my squad. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. See those buildings up ahead? We'll set up a camp there, but we need to clear the area first. We've sent out the drones, and we are currently analysing the area. So far, there are around 30 targets, and we need to act fast. I know you must be fatigued after the long trip, but this should be an easy task for the full squad. Any questions? Go to your positions. Rock, can you hear me? Yep, what is it? Can you see the enemy base from there? So. Yeah, I see a couple of buildings up ahead. Okay, listen, the signal jammer has been deployed and we are now about to cut off their power supply. After the power has been cut off, there will be a chance to attack. Sure, just leave it to me. I'll go to my position. Alright, so my position is in this bush. Uh, there's no way the enemy didn't notice that. Rook, you should be able to see four targets from where you are standing. Are you ready? My mouse is in the way, I'm so sorry. One, two, three, four, yeah. Is that it? Am I literally just meant to like, sh mur straight up murder these people now? All right. Here we go, I guess. Is he dead? <laughs> it looked like that guy a little wise, so. Okay. Now I saw in the trailer one you shoot one and the other one runs away, so I just have to be prepared to do a bit of chasing. Ready? 
aim, fire. The area is clear. I didn't feel as much um, guilt there as I was expecting to feel. Is that is that a, a bad sign on my part? <laughs> Get down the hill, you should be able to get a better view of their base. On my way. I suppose I basically have been trained all my life to just literally just be a sniper and not consider like the feelings of anything, but for me, I don't know. Go down the rope. Save your progress. Yep. I just want to have a quick look at my notes for a second. So I'm, I'm supporting uh, an operation and aiding Polish forces, but why? Like I've just killed four people for no reason. So I'm literally just just here to support another army. This spot should be fine. Okay. So it looks like I've still got four more enemies to take down here. So we've got a different view now. Let's take out the people who are further away first. Headshot. Boom. Boom. You down. Get you. Get you. This is way too easy. No wonder everything, everyone thinks highly of Coil. I should probably meet with the rest of the team. Is everyone here? I want you all to explore every building in every alley. Any target kept alive is a threat to the operation. Go, go, go! What? I, I want more details about this operation. I don't know. This building is empty. But you might never know if they have some sort of uh, secret bunker. Well, I don't know. I was told to keep an eye on it. Apparently, this is where the enemy store their supplies, but the captain won't let us inside. Uh, so this is a supply outpost for the... For the army. What army is it? Hello. An enemy? Shit. He's really fast. Well. What's this? Alcohol has been added to the inventory. Nice. Let's get drunk. <laughs> Alright. I should probably report that to someone. You know. that I saw a shadowy figure run off. Okay, you're just going to tell me the same thing. Clearly not allowed to go inside, so I'm starving and I already ate all my rations. You still have yours? Sure, I have one of mine. Energy bar times one has been removed from the inventory. Oh, it's an apple cinnamon one. I, uh, I'm not that hungry. Oh, well, fine. Hey, we can't enter until the captain gives us the heads up. Alright, so I literally have to go and follow that shadow. Well, where did they go? Did this guy not see him? Following an enemy in his own base. This is such an obvious trap. Yeah, this can't be... This isn't good. Did you see someone pass by just now? can't see a thing, honestly. It's too dark in here. Well, we're outside, so, you know. There's no one inside. We already took care of it. Okay. Can I look through a window? No. I don't really want to go up there. The road ends up ahead. I don't think there's any, pl any place left to check. Hello. We've all got some more bullets, that's nice. 
I, this is, there he is, there he is. Oh, it's pretty dark up here. The doors are locked, but it seems to be empty. Anything? He ran into a wall. This is suspiciously easy. Am I going to get ambushed or something? Who is this? Maybe it's just a civilian. I am absolutely not shooting this person. Wait, what is this? Thank God. What? Is it just a kid? This is definitely a kid. There's no way he'd be armed. Mm, never know. So, I found a kid. He seems to be alone. Did you shoot him? No! <laughs> what? No. He's really scared, sir. Then what are you waiting for, soldier? Oh, some of these people are ruthless. Sir, he's just a kid. I doubt he's any threat to this operation. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? What the hell is wrong with you? Don't question your chain of command, you damn boot. Jesus. Are you... Really wasn't expecting that. I thought... <laughs> wow. I'll take care of this. Go somewhere else. Fuck me. Oh, having to do this walk is painful. I can't believe he literally just shot some kid. Where am I? Everything is so colourful that it hurts my eyes. You feeling better? No! No, I'm not. Where am I? Um, I guess you could call this a temporary aid station. You were carried here after you fainted, but don't worry. It probably happened because you hadn't slept or eaten anything. Anyway, the area is clear now, so you can sleep a bit longer if you need to. You still look a bit pale, though. I'll get you some water. Hey. Thanks. It's okay, to be honest, nobody's gotten injured yet, so I haven't got much to do here. I mean, not that I want someone to get injured or anything. This guy is so weird. Sorry, tap water tastes funny, so I got you one of these from the store. By the way, do you remember anything before you passed out? Yeah, I remember clearly. Don't make me watch it again. I don't mean to pressure you, but I always told you always let one of the targets escape. Um, how do I put this kindly? Whatever. It could have cost us the mission, you know. What happened back there? I didn't feel like shooting. It was a civilian. A kid. He wasn't going to attack me or anyone else, so I didn't know if I had to shoot him at all. But why did you make an exception for this target? Killing enemy soldiers is a different story. That's what I've been trained to do all my life, but killing a civilian for no reason? Wait a minute. What? We do have a reason? I'm surprised you've come this far and yet you haven't figured out what kind of operation we you're into. No. I thought you would have realised that by the time the targets weren't fighting back. Wait. None of my targets were soldiers? Are we in the wrong location? What the hell is going on? I don't believe this. But, but I don't get it. Why would Poland need our help then? How could they possibly benefit from killing civilians? Besides, for such a dirty job, wouldn't it be better if we weren't using their uniforms? Have you seen any Polish soldiers here? There's no war going on in Kaliningrad, Fork. Huh? And we weren't sent here to change that. This makes no sense. I, I can't even process all this shit right now. But 
Why Poland? Why Russia? I just don't get it. I'm afraid that's all I know. But what are we then? Some kind of terrorist? It's called a false flag operation. How is that any different? And how can you be so calm knowing that? Don't get me wrong, I don't like this either, but what else can we do? Go and try and tell the captain that you want to leave? We could always bail, right? Let's get out of here. Don't be stupid, we'll just get executed for desertion in a second. Ha! <laughs> At this point, that wouldn't be so bad. Seriously, you need to calm down a little. You aren't thinking clearly. Ah. It's dog tag. Even the name on it has nothing to do with me. Does it actually know if it belongs to me if I die? Here, I'll save you the hassle. You are insane, you know that? Just a bit. I don't plan to get caught though. So, am I literally just deserting? Okay, um, I'm going to leave things here. This is really an interesting story. Um, I didn't expect it to get so dark so quickly. Um, I kind of feel a little bit drained. I mean, it's only been like half an hour, but from, yeah, what I just went through, I, I just, I, I want a little bit of a break from it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to this. Um, I know it's only a demo, um, but yeah, I want to leave it here for now. I'll come back to it another day uh, when I'm feeling a bit more refreshed. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel um, and hitting that like button if you'd like. And I will see you guys uh, again soon, hopefully. So cheers. Bye.